Hello and welcome back to the Digital Health and Wearables series. Today I have another magnificent leader and guest for you. But before I go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this magnificent content with your communities in healthcare and anyone else interested. Also, before I introduce you to the guest, let me acknowledge our uh, partners, our industry partner, the Healthcare Partnership and our global partner, Spirit Digital. But now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Osama El Hassan. He's a specialist of health informatics and smart health department at Dubai Authority, Dubai Health Authority, and is also a board member of the International Society for Telemedicine and Health. Dr. Osama, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Nice to nice to see you. Thank you so much for taking up the invite. And I'm delighted to have you here. Thank you. Same here. I'm going to go straight to the questions. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Brilliant. So the first question that I have for you is, what do you think it should be the main focus on work play, on workforce development in health? Well, uh, this is a very good question. So actually, I think we have a lot of challenges with regard to workforce development in health. Uh, I, I think the, the pandemic of COVID-19 was a, bit, a good lesson for everyone that it's not only about technology or implementing technology, but it's also about people or digital workforce who, are, who can master the utilization of these technologies and try to bring them at uh, the, the quickest time and the, with the maximum speed and maximum um, quality to the point of care. This is a really challenging and those kind of workforce are very scarce and very difficult to acquire and more, even more difficult to retain. So we believe that we need to do a lot. We need to, especially, we want to make sure that we bridge the gap between the outcomes of universities and uh, tr uh, professional training and the actual needs of the market today. If we don't bridge this gap, th th this challenge will continue to, to exist. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Very, very good points. Also like a collaborative approach, but as you mentioned, very important to bridge this, uh, this gap and get different stakeholders involved and push the digital literacy in health uh, forward. Uh, thank you for that. The second question that I have for you is, you are very involved in telemedicine, uh, e-health, telehealth. Um, how do you envision digital health going forward? So uh, this was another lesson learned by, by COVID-19 that virtualization is becoming a must now. The in-person relationship between doctors and patients will still be there. However, a lot of activities around this relationship can be uh, be done through virtual tools. And I think now every hospital now is is planning to, to incorporate virtual tools within their systems, making sure that it's part of their uh, front uh, dig digital front door uh, technologies. And this will be a must and it will be there for, for, for life. So I think now uh, all the hospitals and all healthcare systems are incorporating uh, virtualization, not only in outpatient, but even in inpatient today. some We've seen some uh, initiatives talking about home uh, hospitalization. So trying to make sure uh, to minimize the number of days that an inpatient stay in hospital and trying to push some of these services into the home of patients, trying to minimize the, the number of day, uh, stays, day, days uh, staying in a hospital. And for sure, this will affect the cost of care in a positive way for sure oh brilliant yeah certainly virtual tools are essential they are the way the way forward and with the pandemic you really experienced that didn't we we couldn't go to the facilities we have to stay at home we have to try to reach um in a, in a different way so it's crucial that a combination of different things that's what i'm seeing now going forward uh, the organizations the hospitals and the stakeholders are um implementing them yeah Th thank you for that 
And, and the third and last question is, you are very involved in health informatics. Uh, it's your day to day, right? What are the most common challenges that you see in your um, daily work? Well, uh, I think one of the biggest challenges that health informaticians in general uh, are facing is the recognition. So we even looking into where is the health informatics when they, within the, or the, government, the organization or, or the structure of the organization. Who are they working with? Who are they reporting to? This is becoming a very big challenge, especially now we are seeing a lot of challenges in the communication between the informatics teams and the technology team and even the higher, uh, uh, the, the higher uh, uh, executive team of those organizations. So having this kind of job descriptions uh, and uh, clear reporting lines between health informaticians and other key players in the healthcare system, this is a very, very important challenge to, to tackle that. Oh, brilliant. Is there anything else that you want to add on in here in terms of interoperability or any other challenges that you you see? Yeah, we, we see that things are, are moving very fast. We are seeing some technologies becoming more mature, especially fire, smart on fire. These kind of these technologies now becoming a little bit de facto. And I believe now it's things are becoming much easier for new, uh, I can say, new generation who are coming to the, the field of health informatics to find their way easily to, to master those kind of uh, uh, skills. And for, for sure, this will open a lot of uh, job opportunities to them. Things were not much that clear maybe three or four years ago. Yeah, yeah sure. I, I do agree with you. Things are actually moving really fast. I mean, and the technology is ready and the technology has been ready for many years, but the, the, the adoption in the market probably was not ready. And now I think you might agree with me that we merging the both together the technology and the market let's say readiness and adoption yeah is there anything else that you want to add on around the challenges or around anything else before we wrap up maybe the, just i want to finish that uh with the statements saying that workforce development in digital health is a global challenge it's not a country or region and i believe that this is a great platform for everyone to collaborate through exchanging knowledge, through exchanging kind of competencies framework around special uh, talents around, for example, telehealth or, uh, example, imaging informatics. These kind of specific uh, or uh, specific uh, specialties within health informatics are becoming more and more mature. I believe also that uh, panels or platforms such as conferences uh, could be a good opportunity for, for everyone to exchange views and experiences. I want to uh, just to uh, highlight the work that we are going to do in March. So in March, we'll have the, the, the first international uh, conference for ICFTH, the International Society of Telemedicine and eHealth. This will be, uh, will be uh, hosted in Dubai, UAE. Yeah, and this will be the first time to have such a conference in our region. I think this will be a good platform for everyone to come on board and to exchange experiences around the implementation of telehealth. So I, I will uh, welcome you all to come to Dubai, inshallah, in, in March. Thank oh, you. brilliant. Dr. Osama, before I round up, I actually, I finish all my episodes. You mentioned the conferences, but anyway, I finish all my episodes in a peculiar way, which is called one minute of fame. Yeah, it's not a it's not a question as such, but you can mention. I mean, the the event. You can mention anything around your work. You can mention any anything personal or professionally. You have many yes, achievements. Yes. You can mention the event. You can mention a company. You can mention the the Bialf Authority work. You can mention anything whatsoever. So, yeah. one last point mm -hmm. to round up the program. Over to you. Okay, so so can I start now on this thing? Yeah, you can mention whatever you wish. So thank you very much. So, so as I said, that workforce development is one of the biggest challenges, uh, which are actually global challenge. And I believe that this could be a, a good meeting point for everyone, every country to come and collaborate at different perspectives. And I believe that we need to uh, tackle this challenge of gap, the gap between um, what we have in terms of young supplies of, of, of talents and what actually needs in the in the market of, of uh, digital health. This is a big challenge that everybody needs to, to collaborate and, and to help with. 
Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. Dr. Rosama, thank you so much for your time, for your expertise, these magnificent insights. And uh, hopefully I'll see you very soon in Dubai or somewhere else in, uh, in international yeah, sure, conferences. Sure, sure. You, you should mark your agenda for March, for sure. Brilliant. I'm going to round up now. Well, to all our users, uh, viewers and listeners, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also connect with Dr. Osama. I'm going to put his Twitter and LinkedIn and these uh, uh, links here on the body of the video. Make sure you connect with him. And lastly, let's acknowledge our global partners again, the industry partner, the healthcare partnership and our global partner, Spirit Digital. And I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much, Joao. Thank you.